Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this spring inspired makeup look. I thought today would be a good day to do a colorful spring look for you. And this purple, blue, and pink eye look is what I came up with. So if you want to see how I created this spring eye look, then just keep on watching. We are nice and close today because I did get some feedback that y'all might want to be a little bit closer during these detailed eye tutorials. So let me know down below if you like this better. I feel like I am crammed into a little spot. I've got all this stuff really close to my face, but if it helps you, then that's all that matters. I have already primed my eyes. I actually filmed my very first Instagram reel today. I'll link it down below so you can give me a follow and check out that reel on my eyebrows today. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do today. I know I want it to be like blue, purple, pinky kind of spring vibes. And I know that I want to use the NYX Ultimate Palette for the look today. And I'm kind of gravitating towards this light purple and this light blue shade but we'll see what we end up with. First, using this flat packing brush from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I'm first gonna start off with the Transition palette from Dominique Cosmetics because there's a nice white shade that I wanna use all over the lid in here. So I'm gonna start with this first shade, Frothy. And I'm putting this all over the lid as a base so that everything on top comes out nice and smooth. First, taking this small, flat, fluffy brush from Morphe. And the first shade I'm gonna use is this light purple one, which is number eight. And I'm applying this in the upper outer corner. And first, I'm just packing to get the color on the lid. And then I'm flicking my brush outward in a V shape for the outer corner. Then I'm taking this medium sized fluffy brush from Morphe and I'm just blending the outer edges of that purple. Next I'm taking the flat packing side of the original Naked Palette brush. And I'm going to use this lightest blue shade, which is number 12. And I'm putting this all over the lid. And then I'm just blending with that same fluffy brush with no product on it. Next, I'm taking the same brush and I'm taking this darker shade. This is number 10. And I'm putting this in the middle of the lid on top of that lighter blue shade to give it some more depth. And then I'm just gonna use the other end of this brush, which is like a flat kind of dense fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use this to blend in between the blue and the purple. Next, taking the flat packing brush from the Naked 2 palette and picking up shade number five, and I'm very lightly just putting a little bit of this where the blue and the purple are meeting, again, to give it some depth. And then flipping it again and using this side. Thank you. 
And I think that's it for the upper lids. And I'm gonna do some winged liner very quickly off camera. And then I'll be right back for the lower lash lines. And I'm back with my wings. And next is the lower lash line. Going in with this small fluffy brush from Sephora. I'm gonna use this second shade, which is like a bright pink. I'm not getting too much product. I'm just very lightly applying this along the lower lash line. Yeah, just like that. It's very subtle, but it's definitely there. I'm really loving how this is turning out so far. Next, I'm gonna do some highlighting, and so I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette, taking this very tiny fluffy brush from Morphe, and I'm gonna use this first shade in light, and I'm placing this in the inner corner and in the brow bone. And that completes powder. And next I'm gonna do my waterline. I'm going in with the LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Auto Stay Liner in the shade Super Bright. This is like a skin tone shade. I really like it because it brightens the eye and makes your eye look bigger. And that almost completes the look. All that is left is mascara and lashes. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back for the final look. And I'm back with my lashes and I went ahead and did a lip and I added the little fox corner situation just because, I don't know, I'm trying to be more like modern with my makeup style and everyone's doing this everywhere. So, figured I would try it and I really like how it turned out. I really wanted to do a colorful eye look for you today and I really love how this turned out. It has me feeling all the spring vibes. I'm ready for this cold weather to be gone. Texas has been through it. Oh my gosh, we were without power for a couple of days. Anyways, I'm just grateful that we have power and water again. But yeah, I am ready for spring and this makeup look is definitely yelling spring. If you decide to recreate this look, please tag me in my Instagram. I would really love to see if you recreate any of my looks. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up down below. It really helps me out. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so that you don't miss my next new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.